croissant dough. Now let's go to the filling. So you're gonna use Philadelphia whipped cream cheese. You're gonna use four ounces. And now you're gonna get some blueberry filling too. And you're gonna pour about half of that into that container. As you can see, I sectioned it out perfectly for this. And now you're gonna start mixing everything in. And this is going to be the filling of our delicious croissants. Cream cheese filling is literally the most perfect balancing tool in the world. It gives it a nice creamy texture without being too savory. And this mixed in with each other, it's like eating a blueberry cheesecake. So what we're making is kind of like a Danish and a super easy dessert to make for you and your family. And you wanted to get it to a certain purple. So you're gonna keep on mixing that in. Just like that. If you want to add more sugar, which I am going to add, you can add some more sugar to this thing to make it a little bit sweeter. And there's nothing wrong with a little bit more sweetness. So we're gonna add about a scoop of powdered sugar into that. And that's really gonna make everything come together. Just mix it up, fully incorporate it. And that's your filling for these croissants. Now that's fully incorporated, perfect. Look at that color, that's what you want. You're gonna use this to fill up your croissants right now. So bring this back in here. Now you're gonna get a scoop fill of your filling for these croissant. And I'm gonna show you how we fold it here. So nice little scoop. We're gonna go to the front first this time though. Perfect. And you can fill them as much as you want. They're gonna come out so nice. Fold this small, big end first. Crump it and then fold it back over. Big end first. Make sure you close everything. Fold it. Make sure you oil a pan too. You don't want it to get sticky up in there. Beautiful. and then flip it right there. Perfect. And these are come out so amazing, guys. Pull that guy back up. Just the perfect amount in each one. these guys back up they're super plump and full so I have a brush of some oil here too you can use butter too if you want to stick with that we're just gonna brush the tops with some butter and oil it really makes it come together guys and we're gonna set our oven at 375 and we're gonna bake these until they're golden brown Usually depends on the strength of your oven. All ovens are a little bit different, but I recommend 10 to 15 minutes, okay? At 375. Mm. Let's throw these bad boys in. So these guys are done. I can just pull them out. Look at that. Boom. These look so good. These are so fast to make, super easy to make too. Boom. And I'm gonna pull out just three of these guys just to show you how I like to plate them. But don't they look delicious? Yeah, they do. Okay. So what I like to do too is just top them with powdered sugar. And it really makes it come together. Perfect. And also here's like a cool little thing you can do too. Get a can of whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Get a can of whipped cream. Okay. Yep. And so I'm gonna get this. Ooh. And fill it. That's why I leave these sides open. 
We gotta eat these fresh like that. So look at that. Yeah. Some, some fillings escaping you. You just gotta fill that back up. Perfect. So I'm gonna give this guy a try right here. This one's calling me. All right. All right. What are you thinking, pal? It's so perfectly balanced, buttery, crunch, crunchy, sweet, but not too sweet, fruity, creamy, cheesy, the best homemade Danish, whatever it's called. So uh, good. 